Garmin made installing a power meter and training with power easier than ever. With Vector 3 and 3S, it's literally just like putting pedals on your bike. Before you install your new pedals, you'll need a pedal wrench and some bike grease. Start by removing your old pedals and cleaning the crankface. Put a small dab of grease on the pedal threads and screw the pedal onto the crank. Use the pedal wrench to make sure the pedal is secure, then repeat the process for the other pedal. Once both pedals are attached, you'll need to adjust your gear to check chain clearance. Make sure the chain is resting on the largest chain ring and the smallest rear cog. Turn the right crank arm until the right pedal is next to the chain. It should be more than 2 millimeters from the chain. If the inside of the pedal is less than 2 millimeters from the chain, remove the pedal and add one of the included washers between the pedal spindle and the crank arm. To keep left and right clearance the same, add a washer to the left side as well. To pair the power meters with your edge, rotate the pedals to wake them up. Then go to Sensors, Search All, and follow the on-screen instructions to finish setup. To pair with your Garmin Connect Mobile, rotate the pedals to wake them up. Then click Add Device in the app and enter the Ant Plus ID on the side of the pedal. Once you're paired with Garmin Connect, you can make sure your software is up to date in device settings. Now you're ready to ride. Check out the other videos in this series to learn more about Vector 3 and 3S.